Hi, my name is Vimlanand Prabhu, and I'm a director in outcomes research at Merck Research Labs, Merck and Coing, Kenilworth, New Jersey, USA. It was a privilege to participate in the 2021 ESCO conference, and I want to thank the editor and the team at uh, Video Journal of Oncology for the opportunity to talk about the main findings of our study presented at ESCO. The Endometrial Cancer Health Outcomes Study is a multicenter retrospective chart review study in the US that included adult women diagnosed with MSI high or DMMR advanced or inoperable endometrial cancer stage three or four and progressed following a prior systemic therapy. Patient profile was typical of women with advanced endometrial cancer with average age of 61.4 years, 78% white and 78% having ECOG status of zero or one at start of the second line. In second line, 103 out of the 124 patients in our sample, or almost 83% received immunotherapy, and the rest received chemotherapy plus or minus VEGF. The most used regimen in the immunotherapy group was pembrolizumab, pembrolizumab monotherapy in nine out of 10 patients, and the most used regimen in chemotherapy plus or minus VEGF was doxorubicin or doxorubicin liposomal monotherapy in 12 out of 21 or 57% of the patients. As first line, about 85% of the patients received chemotherapy primarily as carboplatin, pacitexel based regimen. Immunotherapy had median time to treatment discontinuation of 21 months with 95 confidence interval of 15 to non-estimable, median real world PFS of 29 months, with 95% confidence interval of 18 to non-estimable, and median OS was, OS was not reached. Since nine in 10 patients were PEMBRO monotherapy, outcomes in PEMBRO, pembrolizumab monotherapy were similar, with median time to treatment discontinuation of 24 months, median real-world PFS of 29 months, and median OS of 30 months with a 95% confidence interval of 30 to non-estimable. The limitations uh, are inherent to those in retrospective uh, studies. Overall, we found that a huge majority of patients with MSI high DMMR uh, advanced endometrial cancer who progressed following prior systemic therapy in the US initiated immunotherapy in the second line setting with almost nine in 10 initiating pembrolizumab monotherapy. Patients with pembrolizumab had good prognosis this study demonstrates the positive impact and potential clinical benefit of pembrolizumab in the treatment of MSR high DMR advanced endometrial cancer patients who progress following prior systemic therapy in the US. Overall real world evidence suggests that immunotherapy with pembrolizumab monotherapy has become the standard of care among MSI high DMR advanced endometrial cancer patients who progress following prior systemic therapy in the US.